with every movement planning and preparations continue across Jefferson County. With the threat of a hurricane potentially hitting southeast Texas, folks are stocking up on essentials while Jefferson County leaders are preparing for the worst. It's going to be what it's going to be. We don't control Mother Nature and uh, we're just going to have to deal with what we're confronted with and we're prepared to do that. Jefferson County Judge Jeff Brennick's disaster declaration issued Sunday will allow them to have access to additional resources. We've got all of our county equipment and vehicles fully, fully fueled up. In an effort to practice social distancing, the county is looking at hotels as an option for those who get displaced. We're absolutely as prepared as we could possibly be. Beaumont Mayor Becky Ames is asking the community to put its faith in their elected officials. Just because you don't hear about what's going on behind the scenes, whether it be um, where people will stay if we were to evacuate or where how they would get out if we were to evacuate, that doesn't mean it's not being prepared for. Port Arthur and areas south of 365 and Highway 73 are likely to be among the first acts to evacuate based on previous history. Hurricane Ike storm surge was just inches below the top of the hurricane protection levy in Port Arthur. We would be concerned with category three winds pushing a storm surge over topping the levy potentially. Anyone can voluntarily evacuate at any time, and I would encourage them to do so if that makes them feel more safe. Tomorrow morning, Jefferson County will fully operate their emergency operations center, so be on the lookout for constant updates from the county. Reporting here live in Beaumont, Jordan James, 12 News.